here and welcome back to my channel. I'm feeling a little mm today. It's just mm. <laughs> procedure that I had to get done and uh, I don't know some people hate the doctor I love the doctor I'd rather know what's going wrong and correct it than not know it all so I went in for a very simple you know procedure and while I was there getting my paperwork to leave the receptionist they were like wow your skin is so pretty what do you do what do you use and I was like uh oh um you can go check out my youtube channel and then i realized that <laughs> when i got home i've never actually done a what do i use video on my channel so this is the it's not a full what do i use i'm just going to give you the rundown of the things that i use in the ordinary today if you watch my i think it was my aztec clay um video I go into detail about how bad my skin used to be. I will actually insert pictures again of how my skin used to be. If you guys don't know what The Ordinary is, it's a skincare line. And I think the, the what attracts people the most to this line is how simplistic it is and also how inexpensive it is. You put those two together and you got a home run, honey. When I started hearing about The Ordinary, I was kind of like, eh this is kind of like too good to be true like how can this be five dollars or ten dollars and actually really work and I'm here to tell you that I don't know how they're making money look ordinary how are you got tell me how you guys are paying your rent how are you guys paying your rent anyway let's get into the things that I have bought recently from The Ordinary. I'm gonna let you know now and preface this by saying, I do not use every single product that you're about to see at the same time on my face. I have certain regimens, so I'm gonna be showing you just the product, what the products do, and why I bought the product. I could go more in depth if you guys want it. Understand that my videos are 10 minutes or less, so I can't put all of that into one video, but if you guys want that, just put a like, a comment, something, and letting me know that that's what you guys want. I would have to make the video a little bit longer because I just don't think I'd be able to cover everything in 10 minutes. First product I have is Niacinamide, 10% uh, zinc, 1%. I go through Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Acid so fast that I decided to get two big ones of each. Niacinamide, vitamin B3, reduces the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion. It a high 10% concentration of this vitamin is supported in the formula by zinc PCA to balance visible aspects of sebum activity. So this is going to, if you have oily skin or very porous skin, this is boop, gonna cancel that right on out. It's gonna make your pores look a little smaller and it is pretty much a game changer. I do have larger pores on my nose and I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, you probably can see it from here. My nose is kind of like the biggest part because sometimes when I try to put foundation on top, it, it can kind of look kind of funky depending on the foundation. So I started using niacinamide just to kind of like tone it all down, get it together. The next thing I'm going to be speaking about is this vitamin C suspension 23 plus HA spheres 2%. To be honest, this product I really don't like. Um, I like a vitamin C that I get off of Amazon. It's by Tree of Life and it's a little bit more expensive, but not really that much more expensive. It's still in that range of you can afford it. And this, when I put it with anything, it doesn't matter if I put it with anything, it peels up on my skin and it is ugh, so gross. So I can't use this if I'm going to put on foundation it literally has to be vitamin c and spf and i'm walking out the door anything else any other product that i'm even mentioning with this for some reason peels up on my skin so i even contacted ordinary and i asked them 
why is this happening? And they said it's because I was putting too much of the product on my face. So I stopped putting so much product on my face. But even with that, I still got some peeling, not nearly as much. So maybe I just have a heavy hand and that's the problem. But uh, I have definitely had a problem with using this vitamin C. Next up, hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is your skin's best friend, okay? This, I don't even have to read a website of what this does to my skin. This makes my skin so juicy, so moist, so everything, so supple, so uh. So what it does essentially is it keeps the moisture into your skin and by doing that, it allows for your skin to just look so much more plump. Everyone should be using hyaluronic acid. So the next one I have up is mandelic acid. It's right here. This is a new one for me, okay guys? This is not like one of my OGs. This is very new for me. And the reason why I picked it up is because when I looked on the website, it said that it if your, if your skin concerns are dullness and uneven texture, fine lines and wrinkles and acne and blemishes, you should incorporate that into your skin regimen. Okay, so for the most part, I don't have crazy skin. I don't have crazy lines and wrinkles. Um, I don't have, you know, major, major things going on in my face, but I do have some unevenness. You can even see it in my neck right here from being pregnant. So when I got pregnant, I got hyperpigmentation on my neck and in certain areas, especially like around this area of my of my face. And I wanted something that could help that. And I love the fact that it also had a hyaluronic acid in it because that is one of my favorite things. But I do not use this on a regular basis. So that's just, I'm letting you know that right now. Next thing that I use is the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. And this is this right here. I use this. My husband, though, uses the chia seed oil, which is this one right here, 100% organic virgin chia seed oil. And the chia seed's good because my husband even puts this in his hair. So we go through the chia seed like water because he throws it in his hair, he throws it in his um, beard, and, and, ah! and I, I like the rosehip oil more. He likes the chia seed oil more, but they both are so good. Caffeine solution, okay? This is the caffeine solution, 5%. I use this every single day of my life, twice a day. And this is perfect for all over your eyes. It reduces puffiness. It makes me feel alive because I have Irish twins and sometimes you feel like you are dead to the world but i put this on and it just reduces that that puffiness that tired look so so good you guys should definitely try this one out next product i have is a retinol which everybody should be using a retinol so this is the one that i use um it's called the grand active retinoid two percent squalane if your skin concerns are fine lines and wrinkles dryness and dullness and uneven texture this is your girl. And the last thing I have is oh, one of my favorite, did I tell you I was a masker? If you didn't know, I'm a masker. Um, and it is the Ordinary AHA BHA Peeling Solution. <laughs> While I show you my stained shirt from the <laughs> the rosehip oil, right? Just so you know, don't put on your shirt, it's gonna be a problem. Forget the fact that when you look at it and you put it on your face, you look like a vampire. I use it three times a week. I Maybe I shouldn't have, I use it three times a week and then I kind of brought it down to two times a week and now I use it about one time a week. Oh, it's so good. It's a little bit uncomfortable because it does tingle, but I don't care, it's, it's so good. I thought this would be a really cool video to introduce you into the products that I use on my face on a regular basis. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for sticking out with me. I appreciate you guys so much. Please be safe wherever you are because coronavirus is kicking right now. Peace with my stand on my shirt.